Hi again, it's Simona, and today I want to show you the results of my participation in the Strata Easel 31 Day Challenge. I painted last month in January. It was a pandemic. I was a little more limited on my subjects. I, for instance, went and painted some old shoes at the thrift store last time I participated. I had more individuals I could paint portraits of, but still I was very happy with the results. It kind of pushes me to really think hard about what is a good painting subject. And a lot of times it's just your approach. I paint with M. Graham's Walnut Oil Based Paint. I find it very nice and buttery and uh, actually kind of forgiving. I like to be able to blend. It dries fast enough for me to paint some detail, but I actually have waited and will show you another video where I've added a little more detail and how I did it. I've laid out all 31 pieces of my artwork that I painted during January 2021 for a painting challenge. Here are several of them on my large art table here. And they were all completed and ready to sell in the format that they already were painted in. But with many of them, I want to do a little bit more. Since with this apron, I'd like to add more detail. Here's the apron that I originally painted from. And I'll have a video upcoming to show you how I do that with stencils. With this Tree of Life painting, I painted it on a larger canvas. I have more room on top. I've decided to add a sky and some roots on the ground. Or I might change my mind and just cut it down and make it square. This painting of tie designs was done on a much larger canvas. You can see I had started some persimmon paintings. I'll be placing this on a PVC plastic board like I usually do with my paintings that I adhere to a backing. And this painting needs to have some glazing and some scumbling done to add a value range. This painting of palette knives, I wish to add a palette knife laying on the table next to the container of palette knives. And over here, I'll be adding color to these little areas that I rubbed out with a shop towel. Originally, they were little sparks of color, but I wanted more glowing color. This needs a little touch up in a shadow area. That's all. This is almost perfect, in my opinion, for what I wanted to do with it. I'll add a little bit more value to the red curtains, a little de deeper value. I have one little orange line I want to touch up on this painting. And on this painting here, I want to Thicken the paint on the background, gray it down a little bit more around the doors. So you see, although you paint a painting in oils, you, it's very easy to rub things off while the paint's wet. And you can do that uh, even three days after you painted it. Although I prefer to do it as soon as possible because oil paints, at least the walnut oil based paints I use, aren't as. Um, slow drying as you might think. With this painting I want to add some wire rimmed glasses next to the books and add titles to the books so I knew I'd want to let the oil painting dry before I did such detail. This is 16 by 20 I want to do something that's about 3 by 4 feet and there'll be some changes to it. With this painting, I want to add detail to the face of the model in the pattern. So I kept the pattern. And then also I put a note on here reminding me to add the buttons, which I did add the colors for the buttons, but I want to add more detail from this button.
Here's a photograph of a small printing press that I painted for the challenge. But right after I posted the printing press online, I rubbed out the gray area, the platen part. Oh, here's the painting now, waiting for more paint. I wanted to darken the grayed area, and it would have been easy to do if I didn't have such thick paint on it. Also, I'm adding some elements to the background related to the printing industry. Here's the original pot and plant that I used as models for a painting that I'm pretty happy with. I think it's all done. I'll show it to you right now. So here's that painting. I just need to frame it. I'm happy with it. I used some canvas that was already adhered to this PVC board. I like this board because it's lightweight. For the painting challenge, I had to paint from life. Here's a model of another painting here. I think I'll be toning down the orange in the background with a, a darker glazing color. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with it. I plan to add a retro oil can to the left front of this painting and something more to the back on the right hand side. Not a lot of detail. This plein air study I did from inside my car needs more value. I plan to go into it with some darks and maybe a little bit of scumbling somewhere to bring out some lighter areas in the sky. This painting got too chalky. I like to start off painting with thin glazes of paint and then use zinc white because it's more transparent then go to titanium white. I think I just used titanium white the whole time on this one. So I'll be going over it with some glazing and to darken some areas and scumbling to maybe lighten the lemon area a bit. I'll add more detail to these hat pin dolls. I'll tone down the background. I plan to use this image on my Redbubble account and remove the background. I think it'd make wonderful images for anything from a t-shirt to a coffee mug to handbags. There are many, many products on Redbubble. I sell my products right now on pixels.com and they're great for especially the wall art but Redbubble has many more products. I actually created this painting during the challenge to use as a banner. I want to put some shadows next to each of the paint brushes. And again, I'll be placing this on a PVC foam board. I use an either eighth inch thickness or quarter inch thickness. Since this is long, I'll use quarter inch thickness of foam board. And I'll order it online. So I looked around the house for items I could paint from life and I painted these little candle holders here. Here's the painting. The originals. But I plan to use more impasto in these lights. It started looking like a retro painting, so I'm going to make this little powder container more of a rouge looking container from at least the 60s or 70s. And this is a serious painting that I did about COVID. I need to add the detail of the lines on the graph. I added detail on the table of the wood grain after I posted the picture of this still life, but I want to tone down the detail a little bit. Maybe use some scumbling.
During the challenge, my granddaughter gifted me this cute little necklace, so I painted it and she was very pleased. This painting of this children's park was a plein air painting I did during the challenge and it was for my son's family. They lived across the street from this park and saw this image every day. I did a YouTube video on painting in your car using this piece as the subject. Hope you can check it out. And here's an oral painting sketch of my husband Ed. It took about four hours. I'm going to leave it like this. I like the freshness of the paint and it has a likeness. And here's my self-portrait. I'm happy with it, although I plan to lighten the area right above the top lip, just a tiny bit. And I'll consider it done.